All right, this is my grandfather's Duberhampton uh, pocket watch. I uh, pulled this back out of, I've had this for a while, and I actually thought it was not working, but I managed to get it working here. Uh, it actually was manufactured based off of the serial number in 1918. So this is a 100-year-old timepiece. Um, there's It's actually a really interesting timepiece, and I was just going to share it with you guys. So uh, it's a wind-up watch, and here there's actually an interesting feature about how you set this, set this watch. Because if any of you are familiar with pocket watches, you know that you usually just... Let me get the shadow there. You usually, you know, I'll just do it this side. Pull up on this. And then you can turn it and set. That's not how this works. This actually has a little nifty feature. So if you carefully screw off the top bezel. Set that aside. You will see that there is a little lever right here. You can gently pull up. What this does is then I'm able to pull that and move it around and set the time. Set that. And then gently set that back into place. There. That's in the set position. And then you can't, uh, with this mechanism, you actually can't accidentally reset your watch. Uh, with you know fumbling with it in your pocket or you can't reset the time on it by accident and it turns out this actually was a requirement by uh, most railroad companies to have that and but yeah it's actually really quite interesting all right let me put this back on now very carefully. Then I'll show you the back here. It's faded and in this light actually here. All right. Let me take this off. You can see a little bit of engraving. There's a little bit of a scratch there, but it's expected after a hundred years of use. Let me get this off. And there's the inner workings. Now, let me adjust and make it a little brighter. Hopefully you can see the markings a little bit better. Just fan, it's just a fantastic piece of engineering. Absolutely masterful. And this really is something that you, you know, it's just amazing that before the electric age, this really was the, the big technology. So also you can see, I might not be able to see it very clearly. There's some writing on the inside. Oh, there we are. Some writing on the inside as well. And there's some, uh, and you can barely make it out, but there's some scratched, some etched, hand etched writing in there as well. But this is just a fascinating, fascinating timepiece. And it really is just a testament to the type of work that went into these. Actually here.
There we are. There we go.